So tonight I'm just going to fit the timing belt and the new tensioner pulley to the cruiser. Um, it should be pretty easy. I've done a couple of these at work. They don't take very long. You know, you've got two pulleys and a tensioner. You've got the cam, the high pressure pump, and then just the tensioner pulley. So it should be pretty easy. So here's the timing cover, just here. So we've got a couple of little spring clips just to get off. And also down underneath and down the bottom, there's a couple of 10mm bolts to get off before we can pop that cover off. So I'll just do that now, get that out of the way. So I'm just going to take that power steering reservoir off because it's in the way, and then I should be able to take the black timing cover off. Alrighty, so I've got the timing cover off, and uh, you can see the belt in there now. So it's actually on backwards. Not that it really matters, but it looks pretty old as well, so the reason I'm changing it is I'm not really sure of when it was last done. Um, I know the engines had a rebuild probably 70,000 k's ago maybe now. Um, but I'm unsure of whether it was actually replaced or not, so I'm just going to do it now and replace that tensioner as well, and we'll be sweet. So all I'm going to do now is turn the engine around until this timing mark aligns with the mark up here, and there's also a mark down on the high pressure pump pulley down here, which should align with another mark on that side. So I'm just going to turn the engine over till they align, and then I'll be able to take the tensioner off and take the belt off. So I've spun the engine around until these timing marks align. And I've also put a bit of a paint pen on it, just so I can see it. And it's really obvious. And also down here, if you can see the orange mark I've made down here, on the high pressure pump, just down there. Also on the timing mark on the high pressure pump. So it's really obvious where it is. You can see that both those timing marks are lined up now, so we can just take off the tensioner and uh, get rid of that old belt. Alright, so the old timing belt's off and the old tensioner's off. And uh, all my marks down here are still aligned. So I'm just going to start fitting the new tensioner. And then once I've got the new tensioner on there, then I'll put the new belt on. So I've fitted the new tensioner left the bolts loose so it can move freely see how it can move up and down pretty freely and also fitted the new belt so the new belt just went on really easily so when you're putting the timing belts on you want the slack to be on the tensioner side so any slack to be on the tensioner side and on the side where there's no tensioner it should be rather firm to push down so there should be barely any slack on this side so that's all you really need to do and now I'm going to put the spring on so there's a spring that goes from here to a little pin down here and then that'll put some tension on this tensioner pulley and then I'll be able to nip up both the bolts so I'll do that now so if you're struggling to get this spring on a little trick I use is I use a screwdriver put it in one end down here pry it on the other side of that little pin that you want to hook it over and then once you get it over into the spot that it is now so that's sitting on the other side of the pin now so now I just need to hold the spring in place and pull the screwdriver out and that spring will stay there so that's just a little trick so I pulled the screwdriver out of there and the spring is still sitting in there so it's nice all good so now you just got to feel the tension on both bits of the belt and they should be both fairly well tensioned and not have too much play and then you know it's tensioned correctly then we can tighten this bolt and this little hex head bolt there and uh, we should be right to put the timing cover back on alright so I've tightened both these bolts now and I've spun it round twice and checked that this timing mark and this timing mark are both aligned so that means I'm all good to put the timing cover back on. Alright, so I just finished putting the uh, power steering reservoir back on and the timing cover. So that's all done. So the final piece of the puzzle is the sticker. So now we know when to change it next. So I'm at 390,000 Ks now. So when it gets to 490, we'll look at replacing that timing belt again. But for now, we're all good. Cool.